hello guys welcome back to a new video on sc show so today we are going to discuss how to send email with node.js right to do so we are using a package name is node mailer as it is visible here so let's get start so let's get start our project so i am initializing our project with the npm init command so that will initialize our project and then we are installing some packages which are node mailer express and nodemon to restart our project every time i changes this every time any then i changes okay now our package is installed now we are creating a basic express uh, project layout in index.js right here we created a basic layout of express application now let me check if it's working or not we are configuring a uh, node mon in our project to do so after that if i had done any changes our project will restart so I don't need to be restarted again and again. No. Right. Let me run. npm run dev. Let's create a request. So server is running on 700. Check response okay so now it's working now let me configure the node mailer in our app const node mailer is equals to require node mailer now we are creating some transporter transporter so that contains the basic information of our uh, of our email id <clears throat> create transport oh, first uh, configuration we are adding here that is the service we are using Oh, for me I'm using Gmail and next parameter next option is auth so auth contain email ID the uh, the user which we are using here and the password we are using for our application right I use the term application because after the 2021 the policies of the Google is changed so we can't be sent emails through our normal uh, email ID and the password so we have to be configure our email and we need to be generate a, a password uh, for our email so you can send the email using this no mail right you can't be sent a node uh, we you can't be send email with the normal way right you have to be do some configuration I am showing you. Firstly, you have to open your Gmail account and then you have to be select manage your Google account option and then one page will appear here. Here you will scroll down on the left side, you will see security section. Okay. and if you scroll down then there is one option will visible here that is signing to the google here you have to be select a, a click on the app uh, you have to be first to configure the two-step verification and then there will be a power option will be appear to app password 
there is one option will be appear as an app password now if you click on there then you can uh, you need to be enter some information of your email or email and password and then you can go through that you will see a screen like this you have to be select email and for the device you need to be select a windows windows computer or if you are using mac then you need to be select mac then click on generate right there will there will be this password will be appear on your screen like this just copy it and use it in your application so i am adding this configuration this email and the password in a new file which is config.json and this is also a very good practice to be store your credential here i'm using it here email and the password like this now i stored my password and the email in the config.json file now i'm importing it config dot email and config dot password right next we need to create a we need to be send mail every time I hit this API like this slash API then we need to be send a email on a specific email ID right so now I'm putting it here transporter dot send mail this method is mainly used to send mail and there are also the information of the user we need to be sent and the body along with the subject we want to send right so two two contains the which user we are sending here like example at the rate yopmail dot com so this is a user here we are sending our mail subject subject is testing node mailer and uh, text text or you can also use here html i'm using here html so difference between them you, if you are using a normal text you need you can only send uh, some text uh, but if you are you selecting here the html then you can send the html format the data in html format like this h1 This is node mailer mail para okay and uh, from from here we are using the user like if I'm using uh, that that uh, the mail the name of user which should be show on the example at the radio mail so like example I'm adding here John Doi and uh, one one thing you need to be uh, like remember that if you are sending mail uh, and you want to be at the name of the user from which you are sending you have to be at this uh, a small greater than sign and the email config dot email and again this greater than or smaller than sign then you can send this mail right so here is a basic layout what are the information from two subject 
and the HTML, right? Next point, next uh, thing is here the error. If you are getting error, then we will show error. The information, if we sending information, then we will display it here, right? If there is an error, if error, true error and if it's working then send the status as info dot response all right now let me check it from here if it send the mail then the new information will be show here See, this is send the mail in uh, example at the rate yokemail.com. So, let me check. I opened the, this yokemail. So, here this is a disposable mail, as you see. Like, uh, if any kind of mail, any kind of email, you can send it here. Uh, like, you can all you can only receive mail through that. You can't be sent email through this yokemail. You can just uh, get the email, email from here. So I'm using your email. Sorry, example at the rate yoke mail, which we already selected. We added to here. So let me check. See, this is the email that we are already sent. It. Let me again send a new email with another heading. Now the heading is testing node mailer part 2 and send the mail with this thunder client see this mail is sent it let me refresh it see this mail heading is changes to sorry some subject is sent it to uh, updated to part 2 right so and uh, if you want to add any attachment you can also add attachment here like uh, here i added one image with our uh, other files that is image.jpg see this is a green background and uh, if i want to be attach any file like uh, pdf or image so i can just need to be put uh, here or you and has to be add the path of the file like this and i can use a keyword that is attachments which contain the array and this contain the object of the file first is the content name file name file name which we want to be added here which is image dot jpg or you can also use any name you want to be set set like i'm i'm putting the green dot jpg and the file path is image dot jpg right let's open the thunder client now send it check it on your mail we haven't get it see this email this uh, file which we are atta attached with the email it is visible here let's download and check is it correct or not correct okay so this is the file that we assigned it okay then thank you guys to checking the video watching the video till here and let me see you in another video bye bye